today I would like to take you through Wina Cosmas as one of the computer application software that is used in nutrition assessment. INA stands for Emergency Nutrition Assessment. It is basically a software that is used to analyze the nutritional content of foods and recipes. It's used by nutritionists, dietitians, and other health professionals to help clients plan balanced and healthy diets. This software also allows users to enter the ingredients and the amounts of a recipe or a meal to provide a breakdown of the nutritional contents of the meals consumed, including the levels of the various nutrients such as proteins, fiber, and vitamins. INA has various features that allow the users to create custom food lists and track their food intake over time. So what are the applications of INA? ENA is basically used in nutrition assessments and mortality rate calculations in emergency situations. It focuses basically on the most important indicators, such as anthropometry and mortality data. The z score calculations are identical to other programs, for example, at the info and who unquote. This software also checks the plausibility of the entered data and gives out an automatic report. And the results have to be complemented with other information. For example, from discussions with key informants or the volunteers in the field. So some of the features that are located in Ina for SMART that we're able to work with, we have basically five sheets. We have a sheet for planning, for training, for data entry, for results, and also options. So we're going to look at each of these sheets in detail, starting with planning. Planning enables the sample size calculation, and it helps you to also assign clusters. For example, if you're looking at numbers from 1 to 30 in your geographical units, then you're able to assign your cluster at 1 to 30. And you can also use the table for cluster sampling, which is also provided in the software. So this is how the planning sheet looks like. It will provide for you all that you need to work with. If you want to look at children that are below five years, it is given to you. You want to estimate the, the prevalence of malnutrition in your location or what you need, it will provide for you. If, if you want to get the desired precision, you can still state it there. Usually work with 5% and also the design effects. You can further go ahead and also calculate the sample size for a mortality rate survey. You look, you, you enter the population size and then you estimate the prevalence rate per 10,000 per day. You enter the precision. If you are looking at 1%, you insert 1. If you're looking at 5%, you insert 5%, and all the rest. So when you look at this sheet, you're going to be able to see all the features that you can work with and everything that you need to carry out your nutrition assessments and mortality rate calculations. We have the sheet for data entry and anthropometry. The anthropometry data is entered in this data entry sheet in the lower part of the screen. To navigate through, you enter, you press the enter key to jump to the next column. And then the rows represent for you the cases and then the results, the set scores for heights, heights and weights are all displayed in the panel on the upper left corner and it's automatically integrated into the data table. So this is how your data entry sheet will appear. You're going to have the rows and the columns. Each of them will represent for you what you're supposed to enter. We said that the rows represent the cases. So you have a column for sex, the birthday, the age marks, the weight in kilograms, the height, the edema, the weight for height, sex scores, and everything else you want to enter, every anthropometric index that you want to enter, you can insert as the variables. So we also have what we call flags in inner cosmos. Flags are basically corrections. For example, if the results that you have inserted are outside the minimum or the maximum range, they are marked with purple color. And you can change the range under the variable view to accommodate both these things. If you're looking at a range of negative 2 to 2, 
and you have inserted a value that is negative three, it's automatically going to be flat with a purple color. And once you see it, then you will realize that you have made a mistake. Then you correct it, adjust it to the range that you're working with. Otherwise, the data must have to always be checked for accuracy. Recording and not recording, entry errors, all that, you have to look at it. And then you have to edit it and correct all the missing values so that you have accurate data. So this is a representation of a flag. We have a flag there, marked with purple, negative six, five, six, one. So once you notice that value, you're going to go back to your records and see what am I looking at? Which values, which figures am I working with? What's the range? And what is the maximum and what's the minimum? Once you ascertain that, then you will see that negative six, five, six, one is way lower than what you want. And then you adjust it to that. Normal range. So the data entry form can also be printed in Word. You can select the form for articulated survey on the extras menu. This is still further showing you the anthropometric survey data form, which we've already looked at. And then we also have the results anthropometry sheet. This sheet is going to get for you all the results according to the records that you have entered. You have your raw data you enter into the data entry sheet. First of all, you plan with the planning sheet. After your planning, you go ahead and you enter your data. After you enter your data now, you instruct in approximately with the results of the anthropometry. So once you instruct in to reproduce for you the results, you have to give it the range and the standards that you're going to work with. Either you choose to work with an NCHS reference all the whole standards that are used to generate papers for different set scores and other variables. For example, I wanted to ascertain the weight for height set scores. I was to go ahead, select the height, select the weight, and instruct in a to give me the weight for height set scores. And automatically, I'll instruct it to give me according to NCHS references. And once I give that instruction, it's going to automatically process this within a very short period of time and reproduce for you this graph that you can see on the screen here. We also have the report. This one displays a more detailed evaluation or analysis of your results. And you're also going to be able to export these results to Excel. Once the results are produced within the inner, you can export them and analyze them further using Excel or using Access, depending on what you have access to. You can also produce this report in Word, so that you're able to explain further the concepts of your results. And this, this report can be automatically generated. You just instruct it to produce for you a report in Word, and it will automatically give it to you. We also have the options. These options help you to change the settings of the software depending on what you want to work with. We have uh, the option in data entry, we have the options in reporting, we also have plausibility checks to check for the, if the Z scores are plausible from the mean, if they are within the range that you're working with. So inner to Excel. I have already said that when you're working with inner, you can be able to export your results into Excel or any other software. And it is always advisable to complement your results with other software that are used in nutrition assessment so that your results can be comparable to other results. So you can transfer the data to Excel and paste it back to Inner. To export to Excel, if you have additions to make, you do them, and again, you can transfer them back to Inner. So Excel enables transfer into other programs, including Edit Info for further analysis. Furthermore, you can transport this data from INA to Excel and then from Excel to AP Info. If you want to go ahead and analyze into more detail. So you select the transfer survey data to Excel from the ex extras A menu, and then you are able to be given the results into Excel. So this is how your results will appear when you transfer them into Excel. You have the survey dates when you do enter this data, when you do career this assessment, you insert. And then you have the variables, the sex, the age, 
the, the weights, the heights, the edema, the work, all those, all the variables that we need to work with in nutrition assessment. We can insert them and we can work with them. In conclusion, a lot more features and applicability of in smarts can be learned through practice. Always go further. Always learn to know more. This is just a summary of in smarts but there is a lot more you can learn. Once you go again and download the application, you load it and then you get some data, you enter and you try to analyze it by yourself. In a post is most suitable for emergency situations because it facilitates quick learning and because it also enables analysis of the most important indicators very quickly. Automated survey reports can also be produced within a short time with the inner customer. And these reports are easily accessed with Word or Excel formats. And we already are saying you can further go ahead and transfer this result from Excel to another software, for example, HD4, for further analysis. Thank you very much.